Hey, what's up my bandwidth thieves? So today we are going to be working with vectors once again. Nothing too complex, just a nice introduction to uh, the wonderful world of vectors. So what we're going to be doing is creating the Twitter bird. And I would show a picture of it, but I really don't want to get slapped with copyright issues. So just Google it and um, you can follow along. So now I'm not going to drag and drop the image into Photoshop, not just for copyright reasons, but because I don't want you to be tracing this. Um, the point of this tutorial is more of using common shapes to create uh, the bird. So let's just get started. I like the work zoomed in. Um, okay, maybe we'll stay zoomed out because the screen resolution is small. Um, I'm just going to grab the quick blue from the Twitter bird, which I'm just using this right here. Nothing special. And I'm going to create a new layer and then grab the pen tool. And my settings for the pen tool is this button right here and this button right here. So I'm going to start off, I'm just going to draw basic basic uh, curves and then we can tweak it later. So I'm going to start at like a, where the edge of the beak would be at, just imagine that. And then I'm going to draw a curve for the head and then one for his weird tail. Then you're going to come back for his, oops, you're going to hold down alt, click there and then that's going to make his tail pointy. Come back here and make him a nice fat belly and then click right here to close it off. So, um, hold on, let me see if I should drag that. Yeah, I'll drag that out. So there you go, you kind of get the main idea of what we're going for. So now that we have the basic shape, we need to make it look a little less funky by stretching it out. It's kind of a, kind of looks like a, um, I don't know what it looks like, but it needs to get changed. I'm going to grab these, the points on the right, I'm just going to hold on shift and drag it out. As you can see, it looks even worse, so just modify these a little bit. I'm going to give them a really pointy tail. I'm going to pick it up. And then I'm going to stretch this out so it gets a bit of a butt. And then let's give them a bigger head. Stretch this down, something like that. And it's just a lot of tweaking, so I'm not going to mess with it too much because it's pretty boring to watch. I feel, for, feel bad for you guys. So okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. That's not that's not too badly off, and maybe we maybe we can mess with it later. So I'm gonna grab this whole layer and just drag it to the left a little bit. And now let's get started on this beak. So before you reach for the pen tool and just start drawing something out like that, we are going to do it a different way because um, that's what this tutorial is for. I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool, and my pixel radius is going to be two pixels. And then I'm gonna hold down shift and drag out a little box, something like this. And then Command T for your free transform. And I'm gonna hold on Shift and just rotate it 90 degrees. So there you go. We've got the start of what we're looking for. I'm gonna zoom in and hold, click and hold on the pen tool and go to the subtraction tool. Then click on here and delete those points. So there we go. We got something looking, looking uh, all right, I guess. I wonder if I rotated that too much. Let me delete it real quick. And I'm just going to draw out the square again. Um, Command T. Like that. There we go. Straight up and down. And then subtract these points here. There we go. That's what I'm after. Okay. So now that we have that, let me just drag it into place so we can, oops, so we can get an idea of what we're looking for. I'm going to bring it about right here. And that's not too bad. But the Twitter logo has it so the beak sticks out just a little bit more. Something like that. And then bring this down. Bring that up. Okay, looking good. So now instead of having this on two layers, this is what you can do with vector objects. You can go to the black cursor, click it, and go to Command C. Well, click Command C. Then go to this layer and make sure you click on the actual gray thumbnail and click C Control V and there you go, it's going to paste it onto that layer. And the reason we want it on that layer is, um, so if we want to add a gradient, it will change it to all the shapes instead of having them all separate. Um, one thing I want to do is round this bottom portion off right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and then click on this layer here, 
go to the pen tool and I'm just going to draw out a little curve like this and it looks like it got off the layer but that's alright and I'm going to click alt on that top one hold on shift and click there and let's line this up so it's better let's um, let's fix that a little more there we go and then again I'm going to just select that shape control C go to here control V and then delete that and there you go um, so what's left is uh, well the wings forgot about those <laughs> sorry about that sorry for making a loud laugh too um, I'm going to grab the pen tool again and then just on the side I'm gonna draw out one point here hold shift click here and then oops click and drag so it looks kinda of like a finger hold on alt click up here again and then drag that out hold alt click that and then just just be creative however you want to do this and then for this last one I'm gonna create a little point right about here oops something like that click alt shift go down to there and let's fix that finger a little bit because it's kind of funky. Um, and then let's just widen it. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I'm going to zoom out and it looks a little flat so I'm going to control T and I'm just going to drag it out a little bit. Bring it into place control T again and I'm just going to rotate it maybe make it a little bit wider and that's good and then I'm going to again go to the black path tool or first copy this hide the top one path tool control C control V then delete this one bring that one to the bottom and then I'm going to make the uh, color a little bit darker there we go that's the second wing looking good looking good so now we just have a little bit of details left which is just the eyes and then the spot on the stomach so those are really really simple but we're going to be learning how to use um, clipping masks so for the circle I'm going to double click and start with the lighter color like that and then use the ellipse tool and this is why I don't want you copying if you were just going to trace over an image you probably wouldn't be using the ellipse tool you might just draw it out with a pen and that's not a good way to to think. You should think how to do it on your own rather than just copying. So I'm just going to draw out a simple simple shape, something like this. And then rotate it into place. Control T. And it looks a little large. That's good. So now you can see it overhangs a little bit. And to fix that, I'm going to right click this and go to um, create clipping mask. And sorry it's cut off, but I promise you it's right here great clipping mask and there you go you can see it cuts it off to the edge and then one last thing to do is the eyeball and now there's two options for the eyeball the first one is let me just create a new layer go to white and then we can just draw an oval right here and call it a day or we can have it so it's actually punched out of the body so then if the background changes the eyeball color changes it's up to you so I'm going to show both ways this one very simple and there it's done and the second one is click on this layer, select it, control C, and then we'll go down to this layer and control V. And then rather than leaving it uh, on this button, we're going to click this one, which is punch out. So if we change the background color, let's grab like a sweet hot pink color and fill in that background, you can see the eyeball changes. So I guess it depends on whatever you want to do. All right. Uh, that's that's all there is to it to making this uh, the quick bird shape um, one thing I want to do is just give it a little bit of color so I'm gonna double click on here and just do my usual uh, add a gradient and go to overlay <clears throat> and then lower the opacity quite a bit and then click OK double click it again go over to bevel and emboss and bring down the shadow all the way bring the size to zero simple as that go to stroke click here and just grab this dark blue color 
and change it to one pixel. Looks good. And then I'm just going to copy it over to the back wing and just leave it as is. And then for this one, I'm going to double click. Oops. And actually, maybe I'll just use the same thing for that and not waste time. But that gradient looks weird. So, ooh. let's do, um, let's rotate it. That looks better. All right, and then I um, guess we could just leave it at that. And if I hide the eyeball, you can see that um, it's punched through still, which doesn't look too bad. And um, that's all there is to it. That's going to finish off this tutorial. Um, we can create a quick shadow if you would like, just to show that he's flying. Just a light gray. And then an oval. Simple as that. There's a quick shadow. Yay, we created the Twitter bird. I'm so excited. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned something new. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash pixel for life. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to send me a private message or leave them below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.